Recently, we had the early access launch of the first three episodes of Has Been Hotel. As a result, hate and criticism for both Has Been Hotel and Vivzipop has hit a new high. I've never seen this level of hate in all of my time of creating content, so in this video I'll go through everything that happened, Vivzy's tweets, and give my thoughts at the end as well. So, as I mentioned, the first two episodes released early. They were also leaked, which I did a dedicated video on, but after this happened, Vivzy was getting criticism. One point in particular being the character designs for a few characters like Alistair and Vox. There were tweets made on it that got anywhere between 1,000 to 20,000 likes. Episode 4 of Has Been Hotel specifically has to do a lot with Angel Dust and is when they debuted the Poison Song. A clip of that sequence was leaked on Twitter and many users were quite upset. I'll showcase a couple tweets. The first says, To all of my followers who plan on watching Has Been Hotel, I would like to extend a special trigger warning for episode 4, slight spoilers. There is a scene where Angel Dust in detail is assaulted by Val. You see every horrible detail and nothing is at all left to the imagination. None of it is handled with tact. If you are sensitive to this kind of thing, I'd recommend you skip the entirety of the poison scene and a minute or so after. A tweet in the reply showcased the scene in question and it got over 1.5 million views. I'll show a couple quote retweets. This one says, when you wake up and Vivzy Pop is still alive. Me when I have rocks and Vivzy's head is in my throwing range. And one longer thread was made. I'll have the full thing on screen if you'd like to pause and read in your own time, but it starts with Trigger warning, SA. Okay, I'm gonna break my silence. As a gay man and victim, I effing hate Angel Dust. I hate him and I hate how his fans act like he's the pinnacle of gay men. I hate it. And they finished the thread saying that the addict music video did a better job at conveying Angel Dust's trauma and distress. However, the way it's done in the final show is abysmal. After this, some heavy criticism was aimed at one of the spindle employees that worked on the poison scene. Their name is R2 Ninja Turtle or Raph. People linked a thread in December which I'll have on screen again if you'd like to pause and read. But basically people were criticising this artist because they ship Angel Dust with Valentino. Criticism was levied because of their NSFW art, how they were endorsed by other Spindle members, a reply they made to an R word art piece, and a tweet made by them where they say they're not an SA victim but have had years of being controlled. A tweet was also brought up showing Raph and Vivzy endorsing or saying they want to purchase a pin set for Husk and Angel that shows them being chained up. So, following all of this, Vivzy made several tweets on the issue. Vivzy starts with, This place is just effing embarrassing at this point, y'all should come over to Thread slash Insta. One person asks what happened, Vivzy says, Literally everything, lol. One user mentions that Twitter is awful, Vivzy says, I think anywhere the 15 year old of the week can't get 20k likes in an inaccurate rage post is a good place to be. One reply says that Twitter users lack common sense, Vivzy replies with, Honestly, I think it's just the same circle jerk of people. There's a lot of them, and exaggerated slash negative posts are easier to jump onto than you know corrections of misinformation or people with critical thinking. That's not what this place is for, but far more people don't care. In response, one user replied and reassured Viv. They said, You hired someone with an R word and non-con fetish onto your staff. At this point, you should receive heavy backlash. Vivzy Pop hid this reply and blocked the user. As a result, she got heavy criticism for this. One Twitter reply from Viv says how much better Threads is than Twitter. She replied to an earlier tweet saying, I know there are far more people who love than hate, and the things that get the massive likes at this point have aggressed to the most laughably effed up stuff I've ever seen. It's just really annoying. So I think I've just sort of had enough. I'm trying really not to be on here. One person replies supporting Viv. Viv says, that's why I suggest people head over to Insta, it's night and day, and you can see more of what I've been doing over there. A tweet was made with the caption, Rut Row, showcasing Vivzy endorsing a Valentino music video made by Raph back in 2021. Vivzy says, Oh wow, something unofficial, wow. Vivzy replied to an earlier quote retweet saying, The scene isn't effing out yet, you people see leaked snippets and hear some dumbass say it's something and all act like you're so above it. Get over yourselves, at least speak on it when the actual scene comes out, Christ. She replies to another user with, Get the level of cruel misinformed vitriol I do on a daily basis and talk to me then. Other creators have absolutely clapped back in the past and others have stayed silent but left the internet due to the shit they get. I fight back cause that's who I am, have fun hating me. She continues with, I'm not kidding, go to anything I post and look at the quote retweets. I'm sorry you lost respect for me that I've hit a breaking point with the full on harassment slash baseless cruelty I get constantly. I know I've been defensive in the past, I own that, but come on. She replies to someone mentioning the hidden reply. Viv says, I don't normally hide things, but it really rubs me wrong when someone tries to come for me and an SA survivor on my team based on leaked content that is widely misinterpreted. I'd appreciate if you watch the episode and form your own opinion. Even your attitude right now is so dismissive and unempathetic. You sit back and watch someone get unending hate, but I think since they react, they just deserve more and more and lose respect to them. I don't know, it's just sad to me. It's become more of a thing because the harassment has never been this bad. It's reached a fever pitch. It isn't my priority in any way, but it is a pretty loud constant here on Twitter. 
I don't think I can be here and it's easier said than done to leave, but trust me, I'm trying. Mivzy made some comments about the whole thing on threads. Only on effing Twitter can our show get leaked so unfairly with random shots from scenes that are shown way out of context and people circle jerk about what they think the scene is or how bad something is done without even seeing it. It's so effing stupid and I'm over it. It doesn't take away from what we've done and how proud we are of it. But this insane standard we are held to is ridiculous and Twitter is just a cesspit. My Trias 2024 goal is getting the F away from it. Also, ignoring the voices of SA survivors just because you want to shit on a cartoon or a scene you haven't even watched is effing disgusting, and everyone doing that in the name of moral high ground is utterly loathsome. Sorry I'm spicy right now, I saw people demanding proof of SA survivors to speak on it, and holy shit how unself-aware can y'all effers be. We'll probably delete later, this isn't anything new, I just wanted to scream because wow, do a lot of people on Twitter suck. It's unreal how much worse the platform has gotten. She continues, I'm really going to try to get off Twitter this year, it's just not worth it. But it's my biggest platform and I really did enjoy it for a long time. But it's just such a bad place for me. But I do hope to see more of you over here. And her final post says, I absolutely hit a breaking point today, I don't know why, but ugh. I'm just so tired of you guys. I am sorry to ever engage in negativity, it burdens everyone and it needs to stop, I'll do my best. Allegedly, some Hasbun Hotel fans were sent the cat in a blender video from a couple months back. And finally, the Spindle Horse Instagram posted a story pointing out the graphic footage warning at the start of Hellverse videos. So, that's everything covered. After taking a look at everything, it's been a bit of a complicated mess. On one hand, I can understand why a lot of people are angry at Viv and the team for the Angel Dust video. However, you can't really form a full opinion just yet without seeing the actual episode. The small clip was leaked and we don't know the context before or after. The scene looks quite graphic, and from what I've seen so far, I do prefer the way Alex showed Angel's relationship with Valentino. However, people are operating off a short leaked clip. We'd have to wait and see how it is depicted once the episode properly releases on the 19th. As for the stuff regarding Raph, I think it's justified for people to be upset. People are allowed their opinion on the Angel and Valentino ship, but I don't think going after Viv and other employees for just interacting with them is the right move at all. It's targeted harassment. There are people demanding proof from SA survivors, which is also messed up. I don't understand why people can't just calmly discuss the issue, instead of resorting to harassment on victim blaming. There were husband fans being sent death threats, which is pretty par for the course on Twitter in 2024 unfortunately, and the cat in the blender video was being circulated around as well. This isn't the first time that people have been harassed for liking a show, and it definitely won't be the last. Like I've said in my previous videos, I hope that Viv can find the time to move off Twitter and onto threads or another website. On Twitter, it quickly goes from rational criticism to outright harassment and hate incredibly quickly. If you have any thoughts on the situation, I'd love for you to leave them in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.